Hey y'all, I am on my way to get a spray tan. Today's the day I leave for Lollapalooza. I actually, thank the Lord, don't have to work today because I uh, worked on Saturday. We had like a parallel shoot on Saturday, so it kind of worked out because today I get to get my shit together because this weekend I like didn't really have time to. Here's something on my lens, the fork. I love my spray tan lady. I think it's called LA Sun Spray Tan. I'll try and link her website down below. It's so easy to make. I just do my appointments via text. I swear, every time I get a spray tan from her, I literally get so many compliments. Let's pray I can find a parking spot. I'm gonna find one, we're manifesting one. <gasps> There's one. I knew we would find one. I knew we would. What a good one, too. I'm so close. So, yeah, she's downtown. If anyone needs a spray tan, highly recommend. I even went on a brand trip one time with Alicia. It was, like, my first ever brand trip, like, big one. And it was in the Caribbean. And I got a spray tan. Literally, all the, like, big influencers and Instabaddies were like, oh, my God, what did you use a tan? Like, is that natural? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, it's my girl. So, that's when you know when Instabaddies are asking you. It's good. I am just, like, in my t-shirt and my loose clothing. I also got my extensions done. And I I just wash my hair that's why it kind of looks a little rough but this is the before what you been doing what you gonna say how you gonna feel at the end of the day do you ever wonder if it ever gets old does all that get leave you shining black gold we don't let nobody tell us what to do okay got my spray tan no ticket let's fork and go I honestly don't even have like the mental capacity to like read the LA street signs right now I don't even know if I had to pay so I'm not even capping like I swear reading the LA parking signs Is legit harder than like AP chemistry was like I, I don't even know how to like there's like 10 of them That was so fast. And I always get a minute when I'm done My Lollapalooza group chat is blowing up because everyone's like do you need this? Don't forget this blah blah blah. I can't forget a portable charger and my vaccination card I also need to run to CVS to get last-minute things I need to get my packages and then pack a little stressed out amount, but we'll be fine. You secured the bag, baby. Guys, guess what? I got my CVS stuff, which is basically just like shit for when I get blisters. My mother forking, I don't want to show you my address. I am a geo package came in. I didn't think it was gonna come in because they take forever to ship. It's literally the worst, but they came in and I'm so freaking happy because I love I am Gia. Quick commercial break because today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. <laughs> I'm sorry if you can hear the downtown LA sirens. It's the city living. Okay, for real, shut the fork up. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it is a online learning community for creative and curious people. I am one of those people. I am obsessed with Skillshare. They have a gazillion classes. I personally like using it for learning like YouTube tips, editing tips, graphics, Adobe, Premiere, Photoshop, Illustrator, literally Final Cut, everything and anything you could possibly want to learn. They even have classes like cooking, chess, pretty much everything. If you're trying to like shift career paths or figure out what you like or what you want to do for a living, Skillshare is really great because you guys know me. I always say the best way to figure out what you want to do for a living and for your career is to figure out what the heck you don't like. So try everything, try all the different classes. And I think Skillshare is just one of the best resources for that and figuring out your future career path. It literally helped me and I used it all the time in college and I still use it all the time to this day. One of my personal favorite things about Skillshare is that it offers membership with meaning. So you can literally take live classes, meet other creatives or people that are interested in things similar to you. It's the best way to meet friends or like a significant other is finding someone that has a common interest um, with you. So one of my all time favorite classes that I love taking and I go back to and reference all the time and recommend to everyone is Marquise Brownlee's class. He's one of my favorite tech YouTubers and literally knows all the YouTube tips and tricks. It's called YouTube Success Script, Shoot, and Edit with MKBHD. What I love about his class is that he gives practical and like tangible tips that you can use to help further your YouTube career and your channel. And he looks at the whole picture. He starts you in like the pre-production process, coming up with the idea, 
all the way to the post-production process. So if any of you are interested in checking out Skillshare, I have some good news. The first 1,000 of you to click the link in my description will get one month free trial of Skillshare to start exploring your creative juices and diving into a new class. So I definitely recommend checking it out. Just click the link in my description. First 1,000 of you get one month free. Let's get back into the rest of the video. Woo! -hoo. Oh my God. Okay, what did I get? <laughs> what did I order? <gasps> oh my God, I got the iconic euphoria one. These have had in my car forever, but I'm like, you don't need them. And then I'm like, wait, I need them. And then I'm, <gasps> how fun. Okay, I can maybe wear those. T. <gasps> And then I was most excited for these Barbie pants. Guys, I almost got them in red, but then I was like, why do I like the pink more? I don't know, I'm having a pink moment. Chicago's so humid and hot. Don't know if that's gonna work out, but I'm gonna bring them just in case. I need to make breakfast because I'm starving. I'm going a little bit nuts. Oh my gosh, Alicia gave me her Kylie Skin body lotion, which I'm obsessed with because she doesn't love coconut. She's obsessed with her hemp's one, and I literally always steal this when I'm at her house. So I can't wait to do one size. I'm bringing a lot of Lisa because I'm obsessed with this Kylie Skin lotion. Like, it hits different. I don't even know how to explain it. Everything is golden, every day is new. She thick and juicy and perfect. I don't have almond butter, which I normally put in these, but it's okay. I don't even have time to think about that right now. And guys, I've been loving these blender bombs in my smoothie, but what's funny is they're literally meant to like be in the smoothie and blend it up because it has a bunch of like nutrients and ingredients you just don't get every day. And you blend it up in the smoothie and you can base barely taste it, but I love them and I love the taste so much. I eat them literally more as a snack than I do in a smoothie. And I love taking it and kind of crumbling it in my smoothie like granola, like this. And I don't know, something about it just hits so different. Y'all, I got ready, I filmed my Puma stories, and I took my photo. Ah, oh, I am like on fire right now! I'm still so stressed out and I'm like sweaty, but I definitely don't have to do this, but I want to just because I'm obsessed with Puma. Definitely recommend these shoes. They're like, they're suede classic daddies. Everyone and their mother wears them. Like, I feel like all, like anyone that is a goat, like greatest of all time people wear these shoes. So, you know, I had to cop them, but I got them in red and I got them in pink. And I'm so excited to style them. I actually might bring a pair to maybe style them in one of my Lala outfits. And if not, I'm definitely gonna wear them like traveling. And I'm so grateful to even have the opportunity to work with them just because they're like shots for working kiss. Like I, literally, if you would have told my younger self that I'd be working with Puma, what the floor? Your apartment's such a mess right now because I'm so stressed out. Woo! I got it done! I'm so excited. Okay. Now, let me get my base luggage out. We're gonna Uber all together, but I ordered an extra Uber because I have this big ass bag. Please ignore the mess. This big ass bag, and then I have my brother, one of his bags because he's moving home and he needed me to take one with him. We're flying Southwest, so two bags fly free. So I was stressed out about the bag situation, so I'm just getting my own Uber. I'll pick up one of the girls probably because they live down the street from me. And yeah, I'm so excited. First of all, we got rid of this console table and that is why all of the stuff that was in it is over here. That's why that's such a mess. We're getting a new one, so stay tuned for that. It's gonna be really cute. Peyton was just shooting some PR, that's why that's there. And this is all the stuff I know I'm bringing to Lollapalooza. So I just need to go through it and like fold it and just double check as I pack. I moved my couch. I changed into my airport fit. I'm just gonna probably wear this set active top because I got these. I'm so excited to wear at Lala. I got them from Goat. And I got them in the kid size because I'm a size eight in women's. So I got them in six and a half. And I'm wearing this Lululemon leggings and I'm gonna wear my parallel jacket. It's right here, but I'm hot right now. I post made it a salad. We're Gucci flip flops, y'all. I think I also might, maybe I can wear this around my waist. Like this. I love this white fox sweatshirt because it has cherries on it. Let me pack my Lala outfits first, then the wedding, then cosmetics and like extracurricular things. <laughs> so I actually got this Frankie's thing. I'm not gonna show you all my outfits, but I got this Frankie's jumpsuit or romper from Frankie's Bikinis. It's so freaking expensive. I'll stand by to let you know if I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it for me because I was like, I need something that will cover the top and the bottom and I don't have to worry about an outfit. So I bought it because it like, in my head counts as like a top and a bottom. And I love rompers, like especially at music festivals because they're comfortable. But the colors on this one are almost like too sherberty. Like, I don't know if it's just because I didn't have the spray tan yet, but I felt like it looked weird on me. 
So I'm borrowing Remy's green one. She said it fit her kind of weird, so we'll stand by if I end up actually wearing that. This is so cute. And then I ordered a For Love and Lemons dress, which I have loved for, for Love and Lemons forever. It's already breaking. That's great, great. For Love and Lemons low key, like it's comfortable quality, but it's not really that durable. Why is this already breaking? I make it make sense to me but it's really cute on and super flattering and that's all you can ask for. It's really cute. I just liked it because the slit, I honestly would never go for something like this, like color wise, but I thought it was flattering. I wish it came in different colors or prints, but whatever, that'll do. It's a little out of my comfort zone, but I feel like that's the point of music festivals. I'm also bringing these iconic boots. I think they're from Beginning Boutique. I love them. I'm gonna wear them definitely. Okay, this I got from Nike, it's Jordan, it's Air Jordan. It's really sick, but it also just like, I feel like makes my butt look flat. And I'm like trying to find 307 daddies at this festival. So not sure if that's gonna cut it, but if not, I'll definitely wear that just cause it's cool AF and I love it. I also got this sick top from House of CB. That's so cute. I'm not gonna try these on right now. I should, but I don't care. I'm not going to because I have spray tan on me and I'm already sweating and I don't wanna get spray tan all over them. We also might go like clubbing after the festival, but I'm like, do people change? I don't know. I know I'm probably not gonna wear these, but I need to bring them just in case. Like just in case. I am not a light packer. I feel like it's good when you're packing for festivals to bring like shit like this because you forget about like undergarments or like festival clothes are a little revealing. So it's nice to have like stuff underneath. Like for instance, oh, I need my Sphinx underwear. Okay, I always bring like Nike Pros. And then of course I'm bringing my date night top. What if someone wants to take me on a date? Like before the festival. <laughs> okay, this IMG top, so cute too. I'm bringing it. Two swimsuits just in case. Guys, how cute is this? Devin Carlson, my queen, my icon, did a collab with uh, Lack of Color and I got this cowgirl hat, so cute. I think I'm gonna wear it. I wanna wear these boots so badly that I bought off of Peyton these Louis Vuitton ones, but I don't wanna get them dirty, so I think I'm gonna wear my big daddy Bratz doll ones. Let's put these away before I take them and ruin them. We're really getting down to crunch time, ladies and gents. It is 2.40, I'm leaving at 3.30. Like my Uber will be here at 3.30. But my food came, so we're taking a quick break. Did we get new packaging? Yes! They put my salad in a bigger container and now I have more salad to eat. It's fork and go, Panini Grill. I just figured I would want something like nice and healthy before I got on this plane and like murder some cookies. <laughs> I try and drink like four or five of these a day, but I'm behind right now. Just not good. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Okay, we got the goods. These are just in case daddies too. I feel like I could wear this Monday during the day, like Chicago, like. I got you called Girl Summer. Look how cute this bag is. Alicia gave it to me. It's from an Instagram ad. It's fake. I'm also bringing this fanny pack. Alicia, she works at Coachella. I'm also bringing this butterfly belt. Don't know if I'll need it, but you never know. Festival fashion, it's like you wear it once. So I love that my friends have stuff that we can all borrow. Like my friends came over here, borrowed some of my stuff. Just cause it's like, what else am I gonna wear a freaking assless chaps, you know what I mean? I don't think James Charles ever wears his assless chaps other than at Coachella. Okay, these cowgirl hats I'm bringing. Well, if I wear the Devin Lee Carlson one, I don't think I need this one. I feel like I'm gonna bring this one. This one's more important to me. It brings eight cowgirl hats. Everybody wants it, but nobody knows Where it's coming from or where it really goes you never go cold in the night light will be shining light 